Mm. Hopefully this won't be too difficult with this party. But I think this is probably the better of the party compositions. All right, come on, hurry it up. Oh. That'd be the exit, perhaps. It certainly seems to be. I wonder if Kevin and his group are on the other side already. Oh, I'm dropping frames, too. First time today. It's been five hours, almost 30 minutes, and uh, I've dropped 221 frames somewhat recently. I think we'll have another battle ahead of us before we can reach it, though. Kevin. What? Father Kevin. Please don't be mirrors. Please don't be mirrors. Please don't be mirrors. Uh, that looks worse than the mirrors. Kevin! Uh, they have so much HP! Sticky situation. <clears throat> oh yeah, it doesn't make any sense to do anything else either. Oh man, and it's two. Oh man. He really set himself up quite nicely there. Survive, Mueller. Oh, he already had a strength buff. What am I doing? I need to find a decent way of getting rid of their their guard thing. So that I can go ham, but once I kill Kevin, we'll be in a better spot here. Interesting. Let's uh, do that. Oh, you're already good. Oh, 
Oof. Oh, I thought that missed. It's gonna be mad salty. <clears throat> oh, I forgot that there's multiple forms. to see if I can get some of them with an AoE attack that way I don't have to waste damage not, not working out that well for me Oh, okay. Forgot you uh, learned a new ability. That one actually seems pretty good. Leave her alone. Ah, oh, that was the wrong, wrong thing to do. I'm gonna do that right now so that she doesn't die. Should be in range of basically everybody. Well, now you're getting kind of pushed around. I'll take that though. Let's 
uh, it's a little dramatic even for a Vander. Not much point for me to throw this ham right now, but basically doing it so that fight goes by a little bit faster. Hey, Grayson, how's the game going? Game's going pretty solid so far. Uh, I encountered my first very difficult boss. Managed to squeak by against that boss. And, uh, guess I'm hanging in there now. Are you gonna be streaming today? Cause I'm, uh, I'm gonna be calling it quits here eventually. <clears throat> Which boss? Um, it was, um, floor two. Uh, this big guy that hit for like 5k and then buffed himself. Some of these dudes that uh, grew like healing and stuff like that. They were uh, mega obnoxious. It might not have been the, the best target go after. <clears throat> Not sure yet. Have some works uh, stuff to take care of. Alright. Figured I'd ask. Ooh, she got one shot. Yep. Hello, bullcrap. shall we? Uh, you've been enjoying Infinite Undiscovery though for the most part, so we'd like to stream if you can. I'm, I'm enjoying that game as well. Uh, it's been so long since I actually got a chance to see what that game is about. Like, I saw the, the Let's Play you know, a million years ago, but I don't remember anything about it. So it's really, really cool to see that game. All right, you're out of MP. You know what you can do? I don't want one of those. I was about to be real salty if that killed. Go get on. Uh, but yeah, that that game um, actually, as soon as it got picked uh, for, oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? Uh, 
Uh, as soon as it got picked, I went to go listen to the OST for it. I forgot all about that game. Finally. Mine four. And then we already we got one of those from the last one, I think. <clears throat> oh. seems to be the end of our trial, at least. Although I certainly wasn't expecting uh, that to be a fiend perfectly disguised as Kevin. True, I wasn't. Oh. Uh, Reese, are you alright? You weren't hurt, were you? I'm fine. I was just so relieved to find out it wasn't really Kevin. Now that the fight is over, it seems uh, clear to me that seems clear to me that battle was a trap set by our foes. Those bizarre cannon fiends are further evidence. Let's hurry through the door. I'm quite concerned about the other group. Yes, I suppose we should. We must have been truly worried about Father Graham to react in that way. Alright, save. Let's mark that. OSD is pretty great so far. Yeah, I'm I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, well, I enjoyed it, but I'm enjoying the the actual implementation in the game as opposed to you know just listening it to it track by track as well. So, uh, Reese, thank goodness. Yep, you're the real deal, all right. Thank Adios. I was worried as heck about you, you know? I could say the same to you. Still, it looks like uh, those really must have been grimoires, then. Sure does. Grimoires? Is that the name of those fiends we encountered? You got it. It's a type of fiend mentioned in the Testaments. Although, maybe fiend isn't the best word. They're said, they're said to be what souls eventually turn into after being thrown into Gehenna. Evil souls turn into those? It's not a very pleasant thought. Uh, as I'm sure you know, the church teaches that the souls of sinners end up in the fiery depths of Gehenna. There, they are tormented by the ceaseless flames, slowly losing their own sense of self over time. Though finally, they're, sa they're said to end up as nothing more than a chaotic lump of spirit known as a grimoire. I'm getting goosebumps just picturing it. And that's what those shape-shifting creatures we encountered were. Yes. The mirrors and cannons uh, that appear that appear with them are all cursed items that have, been, uh, have the same origin. Uh, how they did it, I don't know. But it seems our enemies have quite literally opened the gates of Gehenna. Uh, that's quite a fitting metaphor. <clears throat> that sounds like... Oh, I was, I was going to guess, uh, uh, what's his name? Gilbert. Even though, like, Gilbert has no reason to be here. You again. Well, look who decided to show their ugly mug. Did that lord of yours send you to come check up on us? That is one of the roles I've been assigned, albeit not the only one. I am impressed by how quickly you've progressed, even if it was a significant amount of the hermit's guidance. The hermit? Who's that? The ghost we keep running into? I can't think of anyone else. He's been helping us in various ways since we've arrived here. And yet, we and yet we still have no idea who she is. Indeed, I speak of her. She is a spirit uh, that was left behind in Phantasma, as well as the master of the Hollow Garden. Of course, thanks to my lord taking most of her power, she can do little other than struggle as your guide. As usual, your cryptic nonsense just goes right over my head. But hey, 
If she's your enemy, that makes her our ally, right? I'll leave that for you to find out. Her position is hardly your concern at this time. I have a message for you from my lord. Your next destination is the Path of Beasts. Devour the new op uh, offering presented to you and display your seal once more. Then shall the flames of Gehenna burn ever fiercer and my kingdom draw closer to its true completion. What? What is that supposed to mean? My lord says that you may choose to interpret the message however you see fit. My task was simply to relay it to you. Laughter. More laughter. Kevin? Sorry, I couldn't help but laugh. Tell me, what sad classes did you and that joke of a boss uh, you got take, take to get your certifications and how to be a big bad? Nice touch trying to confuse us by spewing that cryptic bullcrap too. Bet you thought we'd keep uh, keep ourselves up all night trying to figure out or figure that gem out. I mean, the overblown theatrics make it a bit too obvious that it's fake, don't you think? <clears throat> well, you done with us? If you are, how about you get lost? We've got better things to do with our time than listen to nonsensical rid riddles from a guy who can't even bother to show his face. I see you're quite fond of the gift granted to you by my lord. Does it bring back memories? Gift? Kevin? Think you can get away? Fear not, we will encounter one another again before long. I am, after all, Phantasma's foremost guardian. And with that, I bid you farewell. Okay, bye. So that's the Schwarz Ritter you mentioned. Uh, he's the picture of his lord right down to taunting us as he leaves. Too bad for him it doesn't take a genius to work out they're both bluffing. Your next destination is the Path of Beasts. Devour the new offering presented to you and display your seal once more. Then shall the flames of Gehenna burn ever fiercer and my kingdom draw closer to its true completion. All right. Is there anybody in the entire world that can just hear some nonsense and then recite it word for word again? Just like that? You know, like 40 seconds after it was said? I don't think so. I don't think so. Show me a person that can do that. All right? I don't think so. His words sound as though they have some specific meaning to me, but they could be taken in a number of ways at face value. We could try to unravel said meaning, but that may hinder our progress more than help in the long run. My thoughts exactly. Anyway, that's definitely not going to hinder us. Or... Uh, what's definitely not going to hinder us is going back to base and seeing how uh, who's in the two ceiling stones we picked up. If we activate the monument over there, we'll be able to come right back here uh, to continue exploring later, too. Thank goodness, it's right there, huh? I wonder who's going to be inside these. Depends how long it is for you, uh, but it has to be a voice and short. Uh, you have a decent audible memory? Uh, I... My memory is so bad. It is so bad. I can't remember. I can't remember anything about it right now. Flames of Gehenna. That's all I got. Also, what's up, Mana? Mana Dryad. Kevin Graham of the 543rd class of trainees. In the name of the goddess above, I hereby appoint you to a squire of the Septian Church. I humbly accept my dis uh, my disappointment. <laughs> oh, Krayson gifting a sub to Mana. Thank you very much for that, Krayson. And welcome aboard, Mana. Enjoy your Munchlax emotes. I pledge to offer my soul to the goddess above, and both body and blood to her church on earth. Very good. It is exceedingly rare for one at your age to be appointed to this position. I can only assume your aptitudes and training achievements warranted it. Uh, may you strive to be a worthy guardian of, uh, of the goddess's sacraments as her loyal and devoted servant.
Well, if it isn't Kevin. I think it was like Ein? Ian? Ein? Ein. <laughs> so you managed to avoid having your promotion rejected by the top brass. Splendid, splendid. Instructor, I really can't thank you enough for all you've done for me. I never dreamed I would... Uh, I would have an actual Dominion supervising my training. How sweet of you to say. Hard to believe you're the same boy who waltzed up before the congregation uh, for the sacraments shouting, Make me a knight, please. I appreciate it if you'd, if you'd chuck uh, that memory back to the furthest reaches of your mind, thank you. But how could I? Had I missed your groveling, I never would have taken an interest in you in the first place. And not in a million years would I have thought you were related to Rufina. You could have, uh, you could have asked her to take you on uh, as her pupil before resorting to such drastic measures, you silly boy. Well, I had my reasons. Let's leave it at that. Very well. It doesn't matter at this point anyway. Congratulations. You're now a dog of the church just like the rest of us. It's good to have you on board. Thank you. I'm not sure that's the most reassuring metaphor to be using on new recruits, though. You might scare some of them right off. Please, you're not trying to position yourself as some sweet, doe-eyed thing, are you? Besides, I think it's a perfectly apt description for us. We go around sniffing out sacraments wherever they, wherever they may be, tearing through the throats of the uh, heretical fools who, who are enamored with them all the while. Can you spot the difference? Come on, instructor. I'm used to you at this point, so I don't really care if you call me a dog. But, but you care if I call your beloved Ruf uh, Rufino one, don't you? Don't worry, Kevin. I can read between the lines well enough. Well, did I guess right? I owe her a lot, but I wouldn't call her my beloved. She's just like a big sister to me, that's all. You're making it sound like I... Like you what, exactly? Rufina. I thought you were in uh, Remiferia on a mission. I was, but I, I tried to finish as quickly as possible so I could be back for your appointment ceremony. I'm so proud of you, Kevin. It's amazing just how fast you've grown, and you're a full-fledged adult like me. Wow, thanks for going out of your way to come here. Uh, I'm not sure I deserve to be called an adult yet, though. I've got a whole lot of work ahead of me if I want to be half the night the two of you are. Oh my, how modest of you. By the way, have you let uh, Reese know at all ab about this? Something, something. Not yet. I'm planning to write to her tonight. She's been real mad at me ever since I decided to come to Arteria, though. Hopefully this will cheer her up a bit. There's not much I can do to make, uh, make up with her uh, short of going home. Perhaps we should do that together at some point if we can find the time. Oh, and while I have the chance... Thank you so much for looking after him all this time. Uh, I, it could be Ian. Did I say Ian? We're going to go with Ian. Uh, you've given up so much of your free time, and I really do appreciate it. Think nothing, think nothing of it. It proved quite a fun way to kill time. He has a fair amount of potential in combat arts and thaumaturgy, too. It's a shame all his skills are, are on the practical side of things, however. His academic side is less than stellar. I had this feeling in the pit of my stomach that may be the case. Oh right, I've got to get going. I have to pick up my new room key and medal from the general affairs guys. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. Oh. You're just, just going to leave like that? What's this? You look so concerned. Feeling guilty because he followed you into such a dangerous line of work? Not at all. I was completely up to him and him alone. I would never try to dictate his life choices. It's just that. I think he'll make a fine knight, personally. He checks all the boxes. He's got the potential, he's got the determination. All in all, I can see why you're so proud of him. And, and call it a hunch, but I wouldn't be surprised if he, if a stigma manifested in him like it has in you. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you could sense uh, that of others if you didn't possess one yourself. Yeah, one more reason I uh, to feel frustrated that you aren't a Dominion. I know we're friends, but there's no need for all the flattery. My combat and thaumaturgy abilities are average at best. 
I wouldn't be cut out for the job at all. I'm grateful enough to have been promoted from squire to knight. That's the upper limit for someone with my lack of potential. If only you saw things the way I do. Someone with average at best abilities couldn't have handled your Ouroboros case half as well as you did. Fighting off a man that uh, fighting off a man of that reported strength to a swift enough conclusion would be a pretty feather a pretty feather in anyone's cap. It was just my <clears throat> it was just my luck uh, that we both came to an understanding. As far as Kevin goes, he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't need to rely on luck. His potential for growth uh, extends further than I'll ever be able to go. But he has one weakness holding him back. That poor boy is just far too kind. So kind, in fact, that I can see him driving himself into a corner because of it one day. <laughs>